I'm here with uh, Senator Jim Davis from the 50th District, North Carolina, and I'll let him talk to you about the budget. Another. Well, we have uh, passed the budget out of the House and the Senate this year. It's our earliest it's been done in over 30 years. Uh, the governor has until Tuesday at, uh, Tuesday night at midnight to decide if she's going to sign it or, or veto it, or uh, it will become law automatically. And if uh, she decides to veto it, then on Wednesday we will uh, pass it. We have a veto-proof majority in the House and the Senate. So we're pleased that uh, schools and, and municipal and county governments will know what uh, how to set their budgets up before uh, July 1, and so we're really proud of that. And unfortunately, some uh, programs, a lot of good programs got cut, but uh, we made a commitment to live within our means, and we're doing that. But the bottom line is that uh, education, K-12 through education, was cut about uh, half a percent, uh, more than what the uh, governor proposed. And the total budget is only about a 1% less. But nevertheless, we live within our budget, fully funded the retirement system, and allowed the, uh, the taxes to, uh, uh, the temporary taxes to expire. So we're, we're very happy with uh, how things turned out.